Hey, what's going on guys? Cody here, and welcome back to Modded Top 10. Now, Modded Top 10, pretty much it's a series where Joe and I pick our top 10 favorite mods in a certain subject and uh, show them all to you guys. Now, this week is Modded Top 10, Top 10 TV show mods. So, guys, this one's very cool. We had a lot of good suggestions last week. And uh, next week, guys, we want you to help us out. What should we do next week for the modded top 10? It could be top 10 dimensions, top 10 weapons. Let us know in the comments. And also, let us know what your top 10 TV show mods are. And guys, also let me know your favorite TV show of all time. And it could be in Minecraft or it couldn't be in Minecraft. But let's get in this week's modded top 10. Number 10. Alright guys, coming in at number 10 is the My Little Pony mod. So this is based off My Little Pony, and it's actually really hilarious, guys. So as you can see, I'm on Mineplex, and I did this as a good example to see a lot of players. Um, pretty much the mod, it's scoring low because it doesn't really add too much from uh, the TV show, but it does add a lot in as for your character. So your character model totally changes, um, even when you're on multiplayer servers, and uh, there's a few different like configs you can change with this. So as you can see, um, there is skeletons that are ponies. <laughs> so with the skeleton ponies, um, every everybody on the server is turned into ponies, and there's different variations of ponies. Uh, oh my god, <laughs> what is going on? He's holding a shovel. The pony. <laughs> there's just you know, a massive amount of people. Uh, can I get a pony on my head? Let me try to do that real quick. The mod is so well done for the models, the variations, and uh, how derpy it is. There's a pony on my head. There's a Pegasus pony. Oh god, there's... Yeah, there's a pony. Now, if you hit F9, you can actually change some different settings for your pony. Uh, you can change your character back to normal, like all the regular characters. And uh, you look pretty cool. And uh, I, I'm a penguin, so I'm obviously going to look cool. Uh, that person's just staying on my head. Let's make them into ponies. Everybody is ponies now. Uh, now, pony mobs, you can actually make ponies um, not turn, or actually skeletons not turn into ponies, but for some reason it's not working on the server version. I'm not entirely sure why. Ponify the zombies. Ponify, that's a, that's a great word. Um, but essentially, there's configs you can change. You can actually change your pony skin. Every time you log in and out, it'll change. Uh, there's so much to it, guys, and uh, you totally should check it out. Links in the description. So with the mod not adding in too much from the TV show and just changing your character model, it scores kind of low, but it's still very cool. And uh, let's see what number nine is. Number nine. Coming in at number nine, we have the Adventure Time mod. And this mod was probably one of the funniest hide and seeks we've ever done because these mobs are just so derpy and so brilliant. And Adventure Time is just a great show itself. So this, this had to come in the list. So it comes at number nine because it's not too intricate, but it has some really cool models. And it just makes for a really fun mod and TV show to come into Minecraft. So first we have Finn, who is looking absolutely wonderful with his little hat and his sword. And then Jake. Marceline and then the BMO. There's a bunch of other stuff too um, which I'll show you in a second but there are also some new blocks that like edible blocks such as a land grass, candy land grass, candy land dirt, chocolate, cotton candy and a sweet log and there's also a bunch of really strong weapons that you can get from killing these guys who spawn naturally and those have a lot of damage. Some of them have 16 attack damage, 18, 14, so they're all pretty good weapons which add something really nice to Minecraft and the models are great for those too. And there's also food, bacon. A mod with bacon could not have come outside of a top 10. It is just beautiful and also bacon pancakes. No maple syrup as of yet, I hope it gets added soon. And then there's bubblegum which is just brilliant and there's also another feature I really love is the the candy tree sapling, which if you bone meal, makes this beautiful candy tree. Now, I think this mod is still work in progress and still has a lot of aspects to come from Adventure Time, but I really love this mod, and I think that is why it deserves a spot at number nine. Number eight. Coming in at number eight, we have the SpongeBob. So SpongeBob is from Toontown, and the reason Toontown is kind of above some of the mods that are generically better for their models and from their AI is because of the fact that I had to choose one of the TV shows for it to be in the top 10, but this mod, Toontown itself, has so many amazing little uh, shows incorporated in itself, like Tom and Jerry, Snoopy, all kinds of stuff. So I had to pick one, and SpongeBob was kind of just the one I had to pick. So we have from SpongeBob, 
<laughs> the derp fest that is the giggling sponge, which is not a bad model. And Gary, of course. Gary's here. Gary's looking good. Uh, so there's a ton of other stuff. So we have, like, the Ninja Turtles, or Scaredy Squirrel, Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Pooh Bear. Mordecai and Rigby, so this is why this guy c comes at number 8, and that is because of all this stuff. We have the turtle, the bugs bunny, Pooh Bear, time for something sweet apparently, Mordecai, and then we even have a Decepticon. So Toontown itself is great for TV shows, great for hide and seek, great for anything fun and derpy in general, and I really love it. As you can see, I'm on bikini bottom, and it just fits perfectly with the derp style that is this mod and that is why I've chosen it to come in at number eight. Number seven. Alright guys, coming in at number 7 is a Transformers mod. Now, Transformers was an amazing TV show, cartoon, back in the day, and I used to love it. My favorite character was Hotshot. What was yours? Let me know in the comments. And uh, it's also a good movie, or movies, I guess there's four of them now. But anyways, the mod comes in at number 7 because, guys, this thing is very cool. And it does a great job of putting the TV show into the mod in Minecraft. And uh, let's take a look at some armor sets. So the mod is composed of different armor sets. We have four different armor sets here that will allow you to transform into either a Decepticon or an Autobot. And uh, you get a different vehicle. So let's put this armor on. This is the Purge armor set. And it's really cool, guys. It's got some great models. And uh, if we hit C, we transform. And now we transform into a tank. The mod's still in beta stages, but it ranks at number 7 because of how well it's done. The transforming is just amazing. The sound effects and everything are really great. And uh, he plans to add in a uh, ability where you can shoot from your different vehicles that you transform into. And I'm loving this tank. It's slow, but if we hit X, we actually do get a nitro boost. Nothing crazy fast, but it's still worth it for using this to get around even faster. But now let's take a look at a different armor set. We have, oh god, it looks so cool when you're taking off the armor. We have Sky Strike, so let's put this bad boy on. Sky Strike, if you hit C, you transform into a jet. So this fighter jet, if you hit X, you get a fast nitro boost, and uh, we can go below the Skelly King's legs, and uh, we can transform out. Oh god, we're falling! But we float like a butterfly since we are a jet. There's two other armor sets, so let's take a look at those right now. We have Verp. So Verp is uh, very cool. He doesn't have feet, though. Where is his feet? So let me pull out Verp's feet. <laughs> I always forget those. There we go. And uh, we look pretty snazzy right now. If we transform, we do become a uh, vehicle. And this is a car. This is... <laughs> This is so epic. I love it. This is a great mod guys one of my favorite mods of all time If you hit X again, you do get a nitro boost and these things are very fast They're probably the fastest land vehicles and if we take a look at the last and final uh, Armor set um, as you can see it uh, is very cool. This thing is an Autobot and I think um, the other Autobot is Sky Strike Verp and Purge are Decepticons, but we turn into a car again. It's just got a little bit of a texture change. Same speed as the other one. And as you guys can see, the mod is very well done, and that's why it's at number seven. Number six. Alright guys, coming in at number 6 is the Avatar The Last Airbender mod. So the Avatar The Last Airbender series was very cool guys. It was a great series and I loved it. It was three seasons and it was very cool. Um, pretty much there's an avatar where he can control all four elements. Fire, earth, water, and air. Now, um, as you can see... I got some scrolls in my hand. So this mod does a very great job of putting the abilities that you see in the TV show into your Minecraft game. Now let me know your favorite character in the entire airbending series. It could be Legend of Korra or it could be Avatar The Last Airbender. So let's jump right into this and let's take a look at three different abilities from each different element. And uh, you guys can see why this thing is at number six. So right here we have the Master Ring. It will send blue fire out in all directions on the ground. Boom. It's a huge burst of fire. And uh, this fire is very strong, and I'm actually regretting spawning it in because it's so strong. It spreads, and it, like, doesn't, 
like it eats water. It's really weird. It, it will eat water. Um, and then we have a master flight. So there's different levels of each like ability. And you find them in different structures like that, and you take down bosses and stuff. So if we use this master flight, we start shooting up in the air. We can press space to like launch yourself. And this is very useful uh, to get around or away from enemies. Now, the last ability that I'm going to show for the uh, firebenders is the firewall. As you can see, there's a huge wall of fire, and anything in this path, it will set in, uh, set on fire. And these sheep, you know, they know to back off. <laughs> oh god! So now we're gonna move on to the water bending. So there's some different water bending abilities that I want to show you. And the first one is gonna be ice stream. So ice stream. Uh, let's test it on the sheep right here. Right click. Oh, there's no water nearby. I need to have water near by nearby to be a uh, water bender. So let's kind of sit here. This is like the kind of disadvantage of being a water bender, but we can use it now. Ooh! So it streets, <laughs> shoots a stream of ice at enemies, and it almost hit those sheep. Oh god, it was so close. Uh, we have another ability called the ice wall. So if we right click this. It will shoot a or not shoot, it will like build up a wall that will protect you from any projectiles and it will slowly disappear in a little bit. And then we also have a master snow wall. So this thing, similar to that, it's just snow and it builds right up. That way your enemies can't see you and uh, you can maneuver yourself and position yourself even better. So now we're going to take a look at Earth, the third element. So this thing, we got some different abilities. We have the master tunnel column. So it will tunnel you like a pathway down so you can have a uh, quick mine and you can put some torches there and everything and now we ha have a master launch this thing will shoot you up in the air oh did I miss it what just happened uh, maybe because I jumped it failed okay so the master launch you pretty much need to be near a mob and then you right click this and it will shoot them up in the air <laughs> poor sheep and now let's try to use this master wall again see if we have enough dirt oh god I did it! Yay! There's just not that much dirt, I guess. I think it struggles with the grass sometimes. But that is earth bending. And now let's take a look at some uh, different air bending tactics. So let's switch ourselves to be an air bender. So we got two scrolls here. And uh, we're going to test them on the chicken. Whoa! There goes the chicken! <laughs> that was Master Gust. And it shoots things very far away. And then there's also ones that will pull you closer. Um, this one, I hope it won't lag me. Last time it did, but uh, pretty much you have a twister that you're in and you like fly up with it. Oh, it's sweet baby Jesus, it's really laggy, but you can walk with the tornado and it will follow you and <laughs> pretty much you'll be taking people down from above. This mod is so epic, guys, and that's why it's at number six and it does a great job of putting itself in the Minecraft game from the TV show. Number five. Coming in at number 5 guys is a Doctor Who mod. So Doctor Who is one of my favorite classic TV series. I haven't really caught up with it recently, but guys this mod is so well done and makes uh, Doctor Who look good in Minecraft. So we have some different TARDISes. These are just based off different eras and uh, the classic one here, the war one. Uh, there's a bunch of different ones guys. And then there's also a ton of different mobs. I'm going to show you some of the most icon uh, like iconic ones I guess. and. Uh, then we'll take a look at the uh, TARDISes. Now there's a ton to this mod, guys. I'm just scratching the surface on it. Be sure to check it out. Uh, it's a Dalek mod. And uh, let's take a look at K9. So K9, he's uh, from the older ones. He made an appearance in the uh, newer series. And uh, he's got a great... Oh god, he's got some sounds. <laughs> He's got some sounds, but he's got a good model, and it really makes him look like a robot dog. And then we have the empty child. Oh, I hate that noise. I hate that noise. No, I'm not your mommy. Joe's your mommy. Oh, he's ugly. He's got a gas mask on. He's no. Uh, what's in your hand? No, I'm not. Uh, just have fun. Then we have a time lord. Oh, God. What's going on, man? Nice. Nice. What's going on in the back? <laughs> Party in the back. <laughs> but there's a bunch of different mobs here, guys. Uh, I'm just showing you some of the ones that I like the most. Then we have the cyber leader. He's a boss battle. There's a bunch of different bosses in here. There's Dalek bosses, and uh, as you can see, there's a Cyber Leader boss. Let me get away from the Daleks because they're loud. There's at least 25 different Daleks, and uh, then we have the Weeping Angel. Why isn't the Weeping Angel? That's not good. There's a Snow Weeping Angel. I guess I can show you that one. Hopefully that works. Um, 
Oh, oh, what the fuck? What is on me? What is on? What the hell? What? I don't even know what's happening. Oh, oh god. Oh dear god. Okay, okay, okay. Just don't. Ah! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, I don't even know what's happening. Oh, let me turn mobs off. That was very scary, guys. Um, I don't know why the regular weeping angels weren't working, but uh, the snow one definitely does. Then we have Clara. Clara, what's going on, baby? Nice. Oh, you smell pretty good. All right, just get away from me, Clara. You're, you're crazy. And then we have the silence. The silence has a pretty cool model. It's got some fingers. It needs a different face. The face needs to be modeled a bit more. Ah! Okay, they shoot lightning. They definitely shoot lightning. Um, and then I'll take a look at one of the Daleks. The Whoa, what's going on, Supreme Controller Dalek? Oh, yeah? They have the sounds and everything. I love it. It's cool. Um, then we have to take a look at some uh, sonic screwdrivers. So there is a ton of sonic screwdrivers. I think there's about like 12 of these, or I can't really count on the, off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, there's a few different sonic screwdrivers, which will do different things like kill Clara, for example. They will like set off redstone pulses, all that jazz. And now it's time to take a look at some TARDISes. So let's jump in this one real quick. I'll show you guys a few. So you need your TARDIS key. You right click. Trying to open it at least. There we go. It makes a sound. And then you get to jump right in. The TARDIS is bigger on the inside. Look at it, guys. It's so cool. You get some different gadgets here. And uh, you can actually go to a ton of different dimensions. Oh, what? what? Ah! Oh, God. Canine. Jesus. Can I kill you? Just, just stop. Canine. Just. No, um, but there's Mars, guys. There's the moon, the nether, the overworld, Gallifrey. There's so many, as you can see. And you can even travel to Minecraft Xbox. How cool is that? This mod is really well done. And uh, you guys can take a look at the other TARDISes for yourself. Just right-click to get out. And uh, this is why this mod is at number five on the list. Number four. Coming in at number 4 we have Digimon, or as it's also known, Digimobs, and this mod is based on the TV series Digimon, if you've never seen it, it is unbelievably good, it was probably like the biggest part, along with Pokemon, of my childhood, and you can use a bunch of items to tame all different types of Digimobs, so you can train like dragons with meat, you can train insects with flowers, and the aquatic ones with fish, etc, etc, and once you tame them, you can become yours, or you can actually spawn them from an egg yourself, um, which I'll do in a second. You can then use Digi devices to find out what their health is, and all about your own personal Digimon once you've tamed it, like you would in the show, and then you can evolve them using bytes, megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes, and this will increase their level until eventually they get to a stage where you can evolve them. And there's also cards which you'll need um, for the initial stage of evolution. Um, so you have beast card, dragon cards, all corresponding to the different types of Digimon or different species. So as you can see, they do spawn naturally. We have some over here, hiding with the pigs. Um, so there's a little one down here, a little baby one, a little Yokomon, and a Birdrimon. Um, my <laughs> pronunciation is probably quite bad. It's been a while since I've seen Digimon, but as you can see, they do spawn naturally bloody everywhere. This guy is pretty cool. He is a Teomon and he has a little Pikachu face. I hope they weren't... they probably had some copyright trouble with that one. So then I'm going to spawn myself in a Puni Egg just to show you and de demonstrate how epic this mod is. So as you can see the green bar is his XP level and the bottom is his energy. So to get the egg to pop you need to feed him 10 beast chips um, and this is specific to this one guy and as you can see he has evolved from his egg into a Punimon, and he is on the run. He's like a little jelly. Would you stay still, good sir? Thank you. And I'm going to level him up. So now I've got to use a packet on him, and he will evolve again into a Sunomon. Pronunciation again, not great. <laughs> so I'm going to keep leveling him up. I'm going to get him all the way to about, I think, 60 is when he can reach his final form, like 65, something like that. So if you use the, the terabytes, this does not take too long, um, but they do munch on them very, very heartily. Go on, eat it all. You know you want it all. So as you can see, his um, his energy bar is yellow at the moment. Now you can bring that back up, because he has recently evolved. Bring it back up using the bread, which is really cool, and bring it all the way up. You can see it rising. He does love his bread. What a man. 
So he used the Digi device on him and it turned him into a Psychomon. So I've got to feed him some more bread and he's evolved again. Oh, look at him. He's starting to get, look, oh, he's got his swag on. More bread. Oh, he's sitting down. So like all pets, you can get him to sit down and they have all the evolution forms. And in the 1710 version, they have the, all the evolution forms. So there's an absolute ton of amazing mobs in this mod. And that's why it's coming number four, because it's similar to Pixelmon. Um, it's a similar AI for the evolution and stuff like that. And it just looks incredible. So that is why Digimobs comes at number four. Number three. Coming in at number three, we have the Walking Dead mod. So this mod is absolutely brilliant and based on the Walking Dead. So it is called the Crafting Dead and it has a crap ton of guns, so many different armors, abilities, um, zombies that can smell you, you can hold your breath, it is incredible. So I'm kind of in the desert with a bunch of zombies. I'm currently in creative, thank goodness. Uh, I'm just gonna press G so I can stick my backpack on and store my gun on my back, which looks pretty amazing. And as you can see, there's some stuff on the floor which I'm going to pick up. So if you drop anything, it kind of just lies on the floor like this, which looks really cool. And I think something Minecraft should just implement anyway. Uh, so I have full camouflage. Hopefully you won't see me. Um, there's some little medi packs over here, which if I right click, it'll give me something. So I have a med pack there. Um, and with this over here, could be anything random. Another med pack. Okay, that's pretty good. So there's some skeletons and zombies. I got some morphine in case I break my leg. So I'll just, I'll just show off the breaking of the leg. Real quick, hopefully I don't die. Uh, that would be pretty awful. So, I didn't break my leg. I wasn't high enough. All right, we'll try again. Don't want to make too much noise because the zombies can actually hear you. Oh, damn, I'm in creative. <laughs> okay, break my leg. There we go, leg's broken. Hold the morphine, and my leg's fixed. Whew. Okay, kind of panicked. Let's go kill some zombies. Can you hear me? Can you smell me? He can hear me, and he can smell me. Okay, so you see top right, it can say players killed, zombies killed, my water. So you do actually need to drink water to stay alive in this version of Minecraft. Uh, it tells you how much blood you have, um, so you can bring that back up with like medipacks and stuff like that. There's a zombie over here. So it's not just zombies that spawn, um, but it is a really good um, survival-based game. If I shift, I'm holding my breath, so I can actually get really close to zombies without them sniffing me out too soon. Ah, uh, he sniffed me. He got me. So my, you have humanity level as well, and it's also weapons. So if I get my weapon off my back, and let's turn that crap off. That is, that is too loud. And let's shoot stuff. Left click to zoom. Why well, you know ammo? I have ammo. Wait. Is it reload? Oh, now it's loaded. Okay. Where's the zombie? Shoot the zombie! So I've seen. Oh, I pissed him off. Um, so I've seen a couple of the Walking Dead um, seasons, and I really enjoyed it. And this mod does a great job of making you feel like you are living in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, you can see I died. That's another feature as well. You lie on the floor when you die. So this mod, if you haven't played it, is definitely worth playing. And it comes in at number three because of all the aspects that it changes about senses of smell and other stuff like that. And it is just brilliant. Brilliant let's play mod pack and brilliant just to play with your friends and try and survive and do a better job than I did. So that is why the Crafting Dead comes in at number three. Number two. Coming in at number two, guys, is a Dragon Block C mod. So this is based off Dragon Ball Z, and it was a cartoon back in the day. I don't know if it's still going on. If they have newer ones, they might. But uh, I remember coming home from, like, school and just watching Cartoon Network and watching Dragon Ball Z. So this mod is really cool, guys, and it does a great job of recreating every aspect from the TV show into Minecraft. And uh, we're, let's take a look at uh, why this mod is placed at number two. So, guys, to start off with, you have to pick your race and stuff. So press V, and uh, you can select what race you're going to be. So I'm going to be a Saiyan, but I'm just going to show you all the different ones. We have half Saiyan, uh, which you get a tail. Oh, the tail is cool. Um, now, I don't have the HD skins mod. If you have that installed, you actually get a hair. Like, you get a hair model, and you get to choose your hair. And you also see your tail. But I don't have that installed, sadly. Um, and then we have a Nam Namekian. And you get di uh, you get, like different abilities with uh, different like races and stuff. But I'm going to be a Saiyan, since we're going to go Super Saiyan. So, uh, I, I really can't see the hair, so it doesn't matter. So, you select that. And uh, we get to select... Uh, what we're going to be based off of. So, Dragon Ball, Dragon Block Energy is uh, Kai. This is used to make uh, different abilities where you can like 
get at energy and like shoot blast of or different blasts and stuff. You can customize the blast, and uh, that aspect's really cool. So let's select ourselves as a uh, martial artist. You can use energy and you you can use like physical like swords and stuff. But uh, spiritualist, warrior are the other two ones. Uh, spiritualist is just energy, so you just use like the energy to like make blast. So we're gonna do that one. And uh, we're looking pretty snazzy here. There's a ton of different armor sets based off the different characters. Um, I don't know if I'm wearing the Goku one. I might be. There's so many different ones. I might be getting Goku's wrong. Um, but as you can see, there's different uh, scouter things. These scouter things, uh, like you can see, it goes over my eyes, like like Google Glass, pretty much. And it will display different information uh, when it comes to play. Now, if you look at uh, top left, this is my power. Um, so being a Saiyan, I have some different things here. So if I press spacebar, if I hold it down actually, or I just jump, I guess, I can jump higher, but it takes some energy. Can I hold it down? Oh, I go pretty high with that. Um, but we don't have abilities. So if you look to my right, you can see, kind of, I have like a, like four bar system. If I use my scroll wheel, I can cycle through it. Um, I can put abilities on there. As you can see, I've already maxed out all my abilities. You gain this by continuing through the mod. There's a huge quest system in the mod, which I'll just briefly go over in a minute. There's a ton of different bosses, and uh, pretty much, let's just create ourselves a um, ability. So we're gonna make an attack. It's gonna be a let's do a blast. Uh, we'll just do the standard one here. So next, and uh, hmm, I'll just I'll leave this stuff as all the basics. So I've learned this ability, I've created it. You can have a total of four different things. Uh, you can take a look at your skills here and all these different like aspects. The mod's just so detailed and uh, it's done a great job of making it into uh, Minecraft. So if we press, I forget what button it is, we need to power up. Oh, if we press C, we start powering up and uh, we can go Super Saiyan mode. Now if we had the hair, uh, 3D hair thing installed, we could actually see our hair change to gold, like the movies are yellow, whatever it is. Uh, but we're going up different energy levels, and uh, we just need to power up our blast right here. So you just hit right click when you have it selected on your uh, skill bar, and let's wait for it to go fully charged, and then we can shoot this guy. Actually, I don't, uh, yeah, let's shoot him. Boom, there's a blast that goes out. Now, where'd it go? Huh on it was pretty slow it wasn't like it, I don't think I set it to break blocks um, or actually I don't even think these blocks can break let's try to break these trees Ooh, I can't but it did do some damage um, if these guys were able to take damage um, then there's also Dragon Balls just like the Dragon Ball like the whole series was to collect like Dragon Balls which you'll get like a wish or whatever and usually they wish for their friends to come back to life um, but you can collect these guys and then there's a quest line. If you talk to this guy, I'm on a platform. Whenever you first make a world, you will see this structure that's made. There's a ton of different structures, biomes, like mobs and everything that you'll find throughout the mod. Uh, but let's right click on him. We can start a new and uh, we'll start like a whole quest line. I'm really not going to go through it. Um, I think, what is, oh, he's just talking about like my stats. So I, I think I just reset my stats actually. Yeah, I did. So I can reset myself. I actually didn't start the quest line. Um, cut down tail. You can learn skills with him. There's somebody here that starts quests. I forget who he is. <laughs> but I can't do a whole mod showcase on this, guys, just because it's only the top 10. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, let's go to number one. Number one. Coming in at number one, we have Pixelmon. Of course, it had to be number one because it is just one of the best mods that has changed Minecraft a whole bunch and it just gives you the opportunity to play Pokemon in Minecraft and you get a start screen like this where you get to choose your Pokemon and then continue on your journey so just for the sake of this I'm going to choose Cyndaquil because I always chose Cyndaquil and if you press R you send him out and he pops out of his ball and this is just one mod so it's not a mod pack this is one mod that has been evolving all the time the models are unbelievable and I'm in creative, so <laughs> that does allow me to get myself a Master Ball. So I'm going to get a bunch of Master Balls, and you can throw these around and pretty much catch anything, obviously because it's a Master Ball. And you get absolutely loads of the legendaries in this 1.7.10 version. This mod is so up to date with the current Pokemons as well now. There we go, he's going in the ball. He's going in the ball, and it'll wiggle. It's like a 3D first-person Pokemon. It is unbelievable. It's kind of the Pokemon I always wanted. 
So there's all kinds of little dip vests everywhere, different levels. You can also get yourself, for example, rare candies, just like you would in the game. Um, there's been other mods, such as um, the bikes, the PokeCycles bikes that we made ourselves, um, that kind of complement this mod as well, which you can make into a slight mod pack. It's just a tiny improvement. And it's just so flawless. It's taken them a few years to get it this way, and they work so hard on it. But it is probably, I think, overall the best mod ever created for just absolute perfection. Even the sounds are brilliant. And if you've never played this, I don't know where you've been, you have been missing out on an unbelievable mod. The mod actually gives you the ability to find tree. Would you shut up? Please. Thank you. Oh, hello. You are very large, Mr. Electrode, and we have an Ekans as well. So you, this mod gives you the ability to craft your own Pokeballs, um, and you can heal your Pokemon using daycare centers. You have restore potions, all kinds of stuff, badges from gyms. Uh, it's just so unbelievable. Look how many Pokeballs there are. It is unreal. There's Poke Loots, which you can find randomly along the floor. So um, you have a Poke Chest, Ultra Chest, and a master chest and you just find these on the ground and randomly open these and you get rewards so I uh, I turned it invisible I can't open them because you can't open the ones you place which is is pretty clever really so you can't cheat but you can get all kinds of stuff um, corresponding to the level of ball so as you can see there's just Pokemon spawning everywhere a lot of them are biome specific a lot of the legendaries will spawn very biome specific so some legendaries will only spawn like on the top of a mountain and as you can see down here you get these little trees which you will then have to harvest to get ingredients you'll harvest these trees and then you can craft yourself some pokeballs look at the majestic pokemon just flying everywhere and just for the sake of showing you how amazing some of the models are i'm going to give myself a legendary i'm going to give myself lugia and here he is oh my gosh Okay, so I'm going to scroll through my Pokemon and press R, and there he is. So 3D, much beautiful, such fly. Fly, my bird! And you can right-click them to fly them. It's just this mod, man. This mod. Oh, I love it. This mod is just in a league of its own, and that is why Pixelmon and the beautiful Pokemon that come with it, oh dear, is it number one?